hello beautiful people my name is miss mdt welcome back to my channel and i really hope that i find you all well so i feel super excited today because i'm going to be filming this video where i'm going to be talking about how to keep up with online lectures during quarantine but before i start like always i would like to say thank you for coming to hang with me i would like each and every one of you to know that i appreciate you being here so if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of the bee society and also follow me on instagram which is right here so that you get to know what i get up to on a day-to-day -day basis because i'm more active on instagram than i am here and there are certain things that i post on instagram that i don't post here so with that being said, I'm going to dive right into today's video. So like I said guys, I'm going to be talking about how to keep up with online lectures during quarantine. I know it's a very difficult time for most of us and we're having to adjust from face-to-face -face lectures to doing it online. It is difficult because there are certain things that you can only do online, especially practicals, examinations and stuff. It's really difficult to have a lecture on them if you're not actually in uni. So I have been struggling because I've had to readjust, but I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of things now, which is why I've decided to share so that if there's somebody out there who's also struggling, they will be able to learn from my own mistakes. If they are mistakes, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to call them mistakes, I don't know. So I'm going to be sharing five ways that has helped me to keep up with online lectures during this COVID-19 lockdown. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is keeping up to date with your timetable. This is really, really important. Make sure you check your emails regularly. And like I said, as much as we're adjusting as students, lecturers are having to adjust as well. So keep checking your emails regularly just to keep yourself updated if there's any changes in your timetable. There might be last minute changes. It has been happening anyway in my unit. There has been last minute changes simply because of uncertainties like i say the lecturers are also struggling just like we are they are working as hard as they can to keep us going so we just need to be patient and cooperate and check our emails regularly and make sure you are updated and then the second thing that has helped me is preparing as if you be going to uni make sure you prepare so if you normally have breakfast before you go to uni have breakfast dress up as you would if you were going to university work up on time this will this help will your help mind. mind this will this help will your help mind your this will prepare your mind for learning and i don't know whether it has been working or not but i feel like it's part of the reason why i've been managing recently so it's worth a try and then the third thing that i want to talk about is creating an environment for learning I feel like this is really really important because the reason why we've been able to learn in uni is because the environment is uh, good for learning so you can as well create that environment at home I know it might be difficult like sit on a desk like you normally do while you're in class this might be difficult if you didn't have a desk already but find something in your house that you can use to make a desk just do whatever works really and do not listen to your lectures while they are in your bed. This is something that I've been guilty of. During the first, first days that we started, I was listening to my lectures while I'm in bed. This never works. Trust me, guys. I don't know. Maybe it might work for someone. But for me, it did not work at all. I remember there's a day that I literally put my lecture on. And then within minutes, I fall asleep again. And I know nobody was watching. Some institutions are using videos to do their lectures, but I know there's also quite a number of institutions that are just using voice recordings. Like my unit, we're not using videos, we just listen to the uh, voice on Microsoft Teams. So you might think that nobody's watching, but you're only fooling yourself. That's what you're doing. So I really, really suggest that you do not listen to your lectures while you're 
in bed do not do it after all your brain might struggle to take in information while you're in bed anyway because it's registered that you're supposed to be sleeping because you're in bed but if you actually sit in front of a desk then your brain might actually be ready to learn so yeah it is to your own benefit do not listen to your lectures while you're in bed and then the fourth thing that i want to talk about is attend your lectures on time and try to listen until the end of the lecture like you would when you're not like you would when you're going to uni anyway if your lecture started at nine you want to be in uni at nine o'clock don't you yeah so it's the same scenario get up get prepared sit in front of that desk on time log in on time listen to your lectures on time and try to listen until the end of the lecture this is really really crucial it will only enhance your learning it also shows that you are taking your lectures seriously and i do suggest that you still take your lectures seriously because when things get back to what we normally do like face-to-face -face lectures i wanted to say when things go back to normal but i don't know i don't think things will ever go back to it depends with how you define normality i mean after covid19 can things really go back to normal i don't know maybe okay if you want to call it going back to normal okay it might go back to normal and when things do go back to normal some of these lectures might not be repeated so do take them seriously and I'm pretty sure most universities are not going to repeat them anyway. So do take this lecture as seriously as you would if we were having lectures in class. <laughs> and then the last thing that I want to talk about is revisiting things that you might have missed. Email your lecturers if you need clarity. They are still there for you. They are still available. They are still able to help you. So do email them. Do not hesitate. To email them and inform them and also read the things that you didn't understand do your own research it's really really important so guys i'm gonna end this video right now thank you again for listening i just wanted to make a quick video and help somebody out there who might be struggling just like what i was with keeping up with online lectures while you're at home because of course doing work at home is really difficult because there's so many distractions so yeah that was the aim of this video to help each other out because I did promise that we're here to help one another to be excellent in our learning so thank you for listening I really really appreciate um, if you are new don't forget to smash that subscribe button and become part of the B Society and also follow me on Instagram which is right here so that you get to know what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis don't forget to message me your comments or your questions thank you again and I hope to see you again in my next video Mwah. bye bye